In this video, we will review rules for the control of objects in a 3D space. This may be important when attempting to control the release of objects. In this example, notice revision B of the universal joint assembly is open, and all items are currently released. If using 3D experience with default conditions, a leader can release objects, while a contributor or author cannot. This is an easy way to control who can do what in the controlled vault. Using replace by revisions shows availability of revisions for the object. Here, I bring revision A back into local cache, and we will see revision A is in the in-work maturity state. In-work allows for editing, while released does not. SolidWorks informs the user they are not looking at the latest revision with the red X in the is latest revision column. If I would attempt to release revision A of this, I will not be able to do this because a later revision was already released. This, however, does not happen if changes are not made in the platform's maturity graph. Let's take a look at some of the platform administration settings. Platform Administrator can navigate to the Collaborative Spaces Configuration Center app in the Platform Administration dashboard. Then, select Maturity Graph, and for SOLIDWORKS objects, select Engineering Definition. Maturity Graph is unique for different file types. For SOLIDWORKS, we will review Engineering Definition and Physical Products. The Maturity Graph is comprised of states and transitions. While states can be renamed, transitions can add logic as files move from one state to another. It should be noted that there are much more complex approval processes available in the form of routes that help dictate a custom series of approvers. Here, we can add various control rules, but perhaps most important would be reject if any of the governed children is not on target states and reject if newer revision exists. Last, navigate to configuration deployment. Here, we can reload cache and update index model if changes to various attributes may have been made to the server. This will help ensure the server's configuration is showing the latest modifications.